Hi, this is DC Scrap and Rooster. First, let me say Happy New Year to everyone here on YouTube and all my subbies. Um, I haven't been around because I've been taking care of a lot of things here in my home. Um, I've been crafting. Yes, I've been crafting, but um, my life is changing again, uh, especially now for the new year, uh, for good, you know, for the better. And taking care of a lot of stuff that I need to take care of because, you know, it's another year that I am getting older. So I got to think of, you know, other important things besides my crafting, if you know what I mean. Um, but anyway, um, I have been crafting and um, I want to show you a couple of things that I've been working on. Now, we all celebrated, you know, the holidays, Christmas and New Year's. And I'm pretty sure there's a lot of you that, you know, celebrate by drinking champagne or drinking your little, you know, special little drinks. And those bottles that we have, the liquor bottles that we have, don't throw them away, okay? Because I love playing around and altering um, jars, you know, and liquor bottles are one of the ones that I like to alter a lot. Um, so I want to show you a couple things that I did with some of mine. Um, there's, there's one um, YouTuber that asked me, um, and I'll show you the bottle that I did. Uh, to do a tutorial. I will do that um, in the next couple of days. It's just I haven't been able to do that because, you know, the holiday just passed and I have a big family so I'm making things and as far as the candy too, that's been a problem because it's been nothing but raining. It's been raining so much here. I don't understand. So the candy making, the peanut brittle, um, hasn't been, do been doing too good. But I do also have a Facebook um, how do you call it, Chal not challenge, a uh, uh, little thing going on on Facebook about the candy. So I have to get to that uh, probably later on this afternoon. So, But anyway, getting back to this, here we go. I'm going to show you um, some of the bottles that, I, that I've that altered. I'm going to show you the, f the first one here. And the first one here, okay, as you can see, okay, paper look familiar? Okay, it's the Tresdale uh, Kirby paper. Okay, isn't that pretty? Okay. And what I did was, can you see it? Yeah, you can see it. Okay, what I did was, um, I put the paper down, I decoupaged the paper, and then I put a doily, um, let me see, you can see a doily, over it, and then I used seam binding. Okay, I put a dangling charm here, using the same colors as uh, the paper. I put a little ribbon here to cover the seam. Not that I need covering, it's just, I, I just thought like, give it a little extra touch by putting uh, the butterflies here. I added some glass beads here and on top of the bottle I put, um, if you can see it, I put one of those corks. Here you go. And I put the little trim and I use uh, one of my markers just to cover because it used to be white and one of these little bobbles on top. Okay, just to give it a little touch. That's my first one. And look how pretty. You give it away as a gift. Um, I did make some out of the original bottles with the original liquor inside or the wine inside. These are empty bottles that uh, Desiree, the mommy, uh, one of the mommies here gave me. So I have like about 20 more to alter, which I'm going to, and I'm going to sell them. Okay, but these, I did alter some of them for uh, the wedding store here. Okay, and those you'll probably see in about another week because I have to wait till they come back and then I, I can show them. Okay, so that's the pink one. Okay, I'm, I did the same thing with a, a blue one here. Okay, look how pretty. Okay. And also using the Tresdale paper. And same thing. Did the bobble on top. A little dangle. Oops. Let's see, there you go. And some seam binding. Okay. Put that one there. Okay, let me show you. Okay, then I made um of course um uh, Cairo's uh, daddy, uh, well the mommy came here and she saw me working on a couple of projects and she saw that the, you know, one of the bottles that I was making and she wanted one for her husband so I made this one for her husband okay it's very manly okay and what I did was I used um, the graphic 45 uh, curiosity um, paper I think it's called I don't have it here in front of me because I just put everything away. This was uh, last week that I did these. So I put everything away. And I used all the metal pieces, well not all, but some of the metal pieces that um, Tina, which is um, Top Cropper, uh, Top top Cropper gave me. Okay, and some charms that I had here. See this he gave me, this here. Just all manly stuff. This tea I had for a while. This here I, um, 
and oh and this is um this is a technique to make them aged and I learned this by um Rach uh Rach zero zero well you know which because I always have a problem with remembering her number and I love her because she's like one of my idols here on YouTube. Um but uh she did um and I'll probably link I I will link it down below. It's um rusting or making um your metals look aged, which is really cool. So I did that on a couple of pieces here. I did it to this one here. I did it to this one here. And there was one more. I think I took that one off. Yeah, so those two pieces are. I don't know if you could see it, but it's really cool. Okay. I put one of these here. And they're just random little metal pieces. This here, um, oh my god, this is so cool. It was a chain that she gave me, that Tina gave me. And I just cut it. Um, cut in between the little balls here and just stuck them in the, this little metal, uh, this little jar. Okay, this was a little, looks like a propeller. And I put a little bird for flight. And this piece here, which says, Life is about creating yourself. Okay, and again, there's the paper. It's really cool. Okay, that was one that I did. Another one. Let me show you another one here, which is, um, this is going out to my brother. Okay, I did this one here. Oops, I just hit. And the paper, um, I don't know what, what where this paper came from. This one was given to me by um, Linda, which is um, Faith Chick 777 here on YouTube. Hi, Linda, if you're watching. Okay, and I put twine on top. Some more metal pieces that she gave me. A cork. Some gears. Light bulb. A watch more metal pieces. I thought that was pretty cool. Okay. Find the car. Okay. That's another one here. Okay. And let me show you. Okay. Okay, this is the one that um, a couple of you ladies on Facebook was asking me. Okay, this one here. Okay. And this um, this one is for my daughter my oldest daughter okay because she likes that gothic look vampire which is like my, my style and of course we know the paper okay that's a um, you see uh, die cuts with a view okay and um, I don't remember the, the name but it's uh, die cuts with a view okay which I thought was beautiful now the bottle if you see the bottle okay which I the bottle came this way okay and it looks like blood which I thought it was so cool. I don't remember the name of the uh, of the liquor, but Joe told me, but I forgot. I can't remember it. Okay, and all I did was put black lace behind it. Um, this lace here is um, it's an applique, and I dyed it red. Okay, and this one here was uh, white also, and I dyed it also. And I used the, the dilutions because I didn't want it. I didn't want it as black as this one. I wanted it um, to show a little bit of the gray, and that came out perfect. Same thing with the seam binding. It was white. Um, and the seam binding came from um, 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 Candice. Thank you, Candice. Okay, and they were white. And I just used the dilutions to paint them. Okay, that's the bottle. But the bottle, yes, the bottle did come this way. And I did, I'm working on one now, which I'm using um, a type of material, almost like a wax type, on my other bottles. So I'll show you that when I show you the wedding, the wedding ones. Okay, so that's one. That's my daughter. I'm going to move this back so you can't see it. Actually, I'm going to move this down so you can see all the bottles. There we go, I think. Okay, and the next one, okay, is this one here. And this one I did with uh, my napkins, okay, which were also given to me. Okay, look how beautiful. I love it. And they were given to me by Kim. Okay, see how beautiful. Oh my God, I love this bottle. This one, I, I am, I was gonna give it to someone that loves yellow, but it's so hard because I like. I mean, I, I know me. I'll probably just wind up giving it to her. But yeah, you know who you are. Okay, she loves yellow. Okay, and um, let me show you the, the what I did. I just tore the napkin. And let me show you the nap. I use this napkin underneath. I just tore it into bits and pieces, as you can see, both on top and on the bottom. See? 
just bits and pieces okay I also added this one here okay and on the back as you can see okay right here the Eiffel Tower okay that's this napkin here okay and the one in the front which is the bike I can show you the bike is this this napkin here isn't that cool okay and I thought it came out so cool so pretty I love it okay and then again I added um, some um, glass beads and Eiffel Tower charm from my stash and some uh, yellow and seam binding okay which also came from ca uh, no this seam binding came from Creative Cafe that's Susie here on YouTube this is um, uh, some seam binding she gave when I gave me when I was doing my dress form that's on my wall she was all filled with, uh, filled with uh, seam binding that Susie gave me. So thank you, Susie. Okay, that's that one. And then the last one, the last one here, is I made it with lace, um, vintage lace that uh, for you Marlene gave me. So it's almost like an ivory color. And then the the um, the image came from I don't know I um. Some someone I don't know who sent it to me. This was it was probably Virginia. I'm not really sure. Someone sent me this image and I had it saved on my computer. Okay, and I just copied it onto um, transfer a transfer sheet, and then I used the the vintage um, what do you call it lace that uh, for you Marlene gave me. Underneath I have cheesecloth, and underneath that. The whole thing I have a uh, the seam binding that is underneath it all. Um, underneath that, I did uh, the tissue paper. So let's start over. I did the tissue paper first, okay, which you can see throughout the whole bot the whole bottle. I don't know if you could see bits and pieces. And then I added the cheesecloth uh, in places here and there, okay, and on the top also. Then I added the image, and then I added the the, the lace okay throughout the whole thing so I covered it all okay so there you go and these are my liquor bottles so again like I said you know after celebrating the holidays I'm pretty sure you have a couple bottles there you know lying around and you could alter them and make pretty bottles and that's it this is what I have for now um, tell me what you think, and I will see you soon in my next video. And thank you for watching. Bye-bye.